Alright guys, unexpected video. Uh, I'm about to bid on a 350Z online on a car auction. So I'm gonna pull over, it's going through in a couple of minutes. Yeah, there's only a few cars before it. So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun, just stay tuned. I'm gonna record it while I bid on it live and then I'll tell you all about it. Hopefully we win this car. It's gonna be fun. I used to have another 350Z before and uh, I've been looking for one and I just came across this. Uh, it's a last minute thing, so hopefully we win this and I'll tell you guys all about it and the plans I have for it, so stay tuned for it. Guys, we're going live, 350Z is next. Hoping to snatch this up at like around 1,000, 1,100. Uh, coming up right up now, okay. Alright, I'm getting... The anticipation sucks, man, waiting on this. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say because I'm just focused on bidding on it right now but all right here we go here we go here we go oh shoot oh man somebody really wants this Jesus Christ man it's already 1100 all right one more bid come on holy shit wow these people really want this huh 12.50 right now. We hit it one more time. Jesus, come on, guys. Alright, guys. Um, as you just saw, the screen recorder, because I had it on my phone while I was bidding, uh, stopped recording for a second. Right at the end, it stopped recording. I don't know why. I just saw the video. The auction just ended. Guess what? We got the car. We got the freaking Z. Yup, that's right. Uh, got a little bit more than I wanted to, but like I was trying to be around a thousand. Ended up getting it for thirteen uh, fifty. Um, I'll put a picture of the, you know, the final invoice. Uh, that shows the purchase of the car. So, I mean, I'm still happy about it. I didn't really talk about the, you know, the car itself in the, obviously while I was bidding, because it was like a last moment thing. But uh, I'll talk about it a little bit now. I mean, uh, I'm happy about the price. I think it's definitely worth it for the amount of damage it has. I actually went and saw the car a few days ago because the auction lot is like um, like 40 minutes away from where I live. So I went and saw it in person. And I started up, I moved it, the car ran fine. Obviously the radiator, <clears throat> the radiator was leaking. Uh, so that's pretty much the, I mean, the extent of damage is pretty much the bumper, driver's side headlight, and the hood, the radiator, the radiator support condenser, uh, all that stuff. Uh, so, I mean, it's not going to run too much, you know, as far as my calculations and what I looked online as far as prices. But other than that, you know, the frame was straight, you know, everything else, nothing, you know, nothing was damaged other than that. Um, the car is the 06. It's got 160k on it. Uh, it runs fine, no mods. It's got a uh, spacers wheels, 18 inch wheels, I think. Aftermarket wheels, it's got spacer on them. The exhaust, it's got aftermarket exhaust, I think, because it was pretty loud, but couldn't really tell. Um, yeah, I mean, the interior is complete, it's fine. It's got a quick release steering wheel, um, which was missing when I, you know, when I went and saw the car because the last owner had uh, removed the actual steering wheel, but the hub was there and the quick release as well. And with that being said, I actually ended up finding the last owner of the car on uh, one of the Facebook pages that I'm part of the, in the Northeast, the Z page. So I asked about the steering wheel. I wasn't sure from the pictures what kind of steering wheel hub it was. So I was trying to figure out so I could buy a steering wheel when I picked it up. And um, the owner actually ended up messaging me and said, hey, that's my car, you know? So we ended up chatting. Uh, we actually met up too. We talked about the car and everything. You know, he spoke well about it. He said, you know, he got into an accident. Somebody's wheel flew off and he was a pileup, so he hit a, you know, he hit a car from behind. Um, 
damage wasn't bad. I mean, he, the other car had barely any damage. So, you know, it wasn't like a crazy accident if, you know, high speeds or anything like that. Frame wasn't damaged, the car is straight. So, I mean, I think for 1300 bucks to get 06 uh, 350Z, it's, uh, I think it's an absolute steal. Uh, it's going to have a reconstructed title, not salvage. Uh, so I don't have to worry about getting inspected or anything like that after it gets fixed. It'll just pretty much be a regular title that has been total, you know, it's been, you know, claimed as a total loss at some point. So, obviously because of the value of the car, you know, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm pretty stoked about it. I mean, I wanted a HR, you know, initially I wanted HR, um, you know, obviously reasons more, more power, the dual takes, especially for drifting and everything like that, which is what I plan on doing the car. I don't know if I said that, uh, that's my plan to drift it, but yeah, you know, that the HR would have been a, you know, the, the, the most, the better, you know, option, but those all obviously are more sought after and, you know, being newer a year newer and everything like that and more expensive so uh yeah i mean I, this is the best second best option though you could have really it's, this is you know the rev up model so it, it you know revs up high so yeah i mean it's a step up from the all uh, three to a five so the rev up you know revs higher obviously you still got to pay attention to the oil consumption and everything like that so um you know i mean i'm not going to go into details of planes i have for the car and you know obviously i'm going to build it up to be a you know budget drift car nothing crazy not going all out because it's not a new car i don't know if it's going to last how long it's going to last the motor's going to blow so it's going to be a simple uh drift car you know angle kit uh coilovers maybe oil cooler aftermarket radiator you know um cold air intake and all that um uh, Nothing, nothing too crazy, you know, maybe a hydro, maybe not, because the stock can break works just fine, you know. Uh, well, the diff, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll go through it once I pick up the car, you know, hopefully I can pick it up the next few days. Uh, I actually, I'm on my way right now to pick up a hood. I just found out, I found a hood on uh, Facebook Marketplace, uh, matching color to the car and everything. The guy's giving me for basically nothing. So, you know, I went on Facebook Marketplace right away as soon as I won the bid and started searching for, you know, parts for it. So, uh, hopefully I can source the rest of the parts I need from junkyard or you know people parting out their cars You know, I'd rather not buy new since this is gonna be a drift car So I don't want to go crazy on spending on money on it. So but yeah, man I'm pretty pretty excited to get started on this. So, you know, stay tuned It's gonna be a bunch of videos of the rebuild of the car picking it up and everything like that and uh, I did a take a walk around video of the car when I went and saw it a few days ago So I'll post that up after after this clip, you know, nothing crazy, just to walk around, just so you can have a better idea, because obviously you can't really see on the, you know, on the bidding page what the car looks like, but, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, stay tuned, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, so hopefully I can go pick it up the, tomorrow or the day after, and um, I'll film that too, so we can go into depth, you know, see the damage and see how the car is and everything like that, and then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know the plans and uh, everything like that, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. This is going to be a fun one. So I'm going to try to do it quick, though. I'm going to try to, a couple of weeks, a month, maybe get it ready to go. Even though the drift tracks are, you know, they're closed right now. They're not doing any events. You know, hopefully we can get it, you know, we can get it out there next month or something, you know. Get, so, yeah, um, I'll post those clips. I'll post the, I'll post the auction winning bid. I'll post the walk around of the car. And I'll show you guys the hood once I uh, go pick it up, all right? So yeah, uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Just, just got home now after picking up the hood. Got a little dark out, but uh, here it is. So matching color to the car. And it's got a cool ass Z Panda over here. So yeah, I mean it worked out, you know, for hundred some bucks. Same color hood. I think it's a good deal, you know. So stay tuned, excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day we're gonna pick up the Z, so stay tuned and wait for that. I'll be posting that video up either tomorrow or the day after. And yeah, it should be exciting, man. Can't wait to get started on this, you know. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.